Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some great Arduino projects. Without further ado, let's start with number 20. Artelect transformed an old 80s typewriter into a retro-style computer terminal that prints everything as ASCII art. The typewriter's keyboard works by using a matrix of rows and columns to detect key presses, and Artelect cleverly used an Arduino to simulate those presses. By controlling the matrix, the Arduino tricks the typewriter into typing specific characters. The Arduino is connected to a Raspberry Pi running in headless mode. When the Raspberry Pi sends text or commands via a serial connection, the Arduino converts them into key presses, allowing the typewriter to print them out like a terminal screen. Only instead of pixels, the output appears on paper as ASCII art. Number 19. Next, we have a customizable, Star Wars-inspired blaster toy that brings the thrill of the Clone Wars to life with immersive effects. It features sound, lights, and vibration for a realistic experience, while a 405 nanometer laser fires green dots onto any glow-in-the-dark target. The blaster's casing is 3D printed in a design inspired by the Mandalorian weapons, adding a cool visual touch. You can switch between five firing modes and even activate a reloading feature for added play. It's a fun, budget-friendly project, perfect for Star Wars fans and DIY enthusiasts. Number 18. In the good old days, the ZX81 was considered a powerful computer good enough for text outputs and a basic operating system. To try the same thing with an Arduino, Clem came up with a design where he used a small multiplexed keyboard and a 20 by 4 monochrome LCD screen. On the back layer, he used both MCUs in a surface mount package to save on space, along with a pair of battery holders and a power delivery circuitry. The 3D printed case on the outside gives the complete computer the retro look that he aimed for. Number 17. This DIY ECG reader helps you learn how heart monitoring systems work in a simple way. The project uses a custom circuit board with some resistors, capacitors, and an Arduino to run everything. The ECG leads connect to the board using a 3mm audio jack and can be attached to electrodes placed on a person or to an ECG simulator for testing. Using the ECG viewer software, you can see heart activity in real time. A potentiometer lets you adjust the sensitivity for the best signal. This project is a great way to get hands-on experience with heart monitoring technology. Number 16. While talking of lasers, how can we not include this laser projector in our ideas list? After many trials and errors, Ben was finally able to come up with a design that could display messages up to a distance of 90 feet. To project the image, it uses a laser diode and an array of 12 mirrors, which is rotated using motors. It also includes a Bluetooth module that allows you to operate it using your smartphone from a safe distance. Right now, it can project one line at a time with a maximum of 20 characters, but we can hope for a better version soon. Number 15. Next, we have a spooky Grim Reaper that tracks people as they pass by, turning its head to follow them. It uses two infrared sensors to detect movement, with the cameras mounted on a 3D printed holder. The servo assembly is positioned at an angle to mimic human anatomy, with the head cage attached to it. Each camera features an 8x8 pixel array that captures thermal data, enabling the Reaper to locate heat sources. By comparing pixel changes between frames, the system detects when someone enters the frame, allowing the Reaper to track them accurately. The body is constructed from PVC pipes mounted on a plywood base, and chicken wire is used to create the structure. The gown, made from black burlap, has long sleeves that extend to cover the arms, adding to the Reaper's eerie look. Before jumping to the next project, let's discuss an exciting opportunity for you if you are a student. If you're aiming to jumpstart your career in PCB design, then Altium is here to help you with their Altium Student Lab. Simply visit the Altium Student Lab through the link in the description, provide the necessary details, and you'll gain free access to Altium's cutting-edge design software and online courses. These PCB courses will guide you through the basics of PCB design and ECAD fundamentals. 
helping you build technical expertise. Plus, the course completion certificate can open up valuable career opportunities in the future. Overall, it's a great opportunity to not only master a key skill, but also to enhance your career prospects in electronics design. Number 14. Next, we have a reaction wheel inverted pendulum. A true masterpiece in which the center of mass lies above the pivot point, where the mass can freely rotate. It uses a DC motor, two slip rings from scrap copper tubing, a copper sheet, and old DC motor brushes to enable the pendulum arm to rotate endlessly. The motor accelerates to the point where the wheel attains a vertical position. It then switches to the stabilization state, where the wheel becomes immune to small disturbances, thus maintaining its upright position. Number 13. A lawnmower is a perfect tool to cut unnecessary grass and maintain an even grass height but most of them are costly. In that case, we can rely on this small prototype. It's a fully automatic robot. A powerful DC motor at the front rotates the blade to cut the grass. During its operation, the ultrasonic sensor detects the objects in front of it. If any object appears in the front, the robot changes the course of the path and avoids collision. A separate servo tester is provided at the front to manually control the blade increasing safety while operating the robot. Make sure to take extra precautions while trying this project. Number 12. Next, we have a SCARA robot, which is designed to handle 200 grams of load. The electronics include an Arduino with a CNC shield, four stepper motor drivers, and a 5-volt regulator for the servo. This robot uses open-loop control. Just like a 3D printer, the robot can keep track of how far each motor is moved, but it doesn't know where it starts from. So here limit switches and a homing sequence are used to find this starting position. It could be challenging to make this project on your own if you are a beginner. Still, you can learn many things by following the build. Number 11. Next, we have a powerful force feedback steering wheel designed specifically for sim racing. Alongside the wheel, David has included magnetic pedals and convenient push buttons for easy control. Using simple materials like 4mm plywood sheets and carefully crafted 3D printed parts, David assembled all the components with precision. From the microcontroller board to the power supply and gearbox, everything was connected flawlessly. The best part of the project is that it is constructed at a fraction of the cost compared to commercial options. Number 10. The Circuit Digest team created a motor driver circuit to control the speed of a DC motor. This circuit uses a MOSFET, a potentiometer, some resistors, and connecting wires. By adjusting the voltage at the MOSFET's gate terminal, the current at its output terminals varies, thereby controlling the motor's speed. A potentiometer is connected to the A0 pin of the Arduino, while the gate terminal is connected to the PWM pin of the Arduino. This setup effectively controls the speed of the DC motor. Number 9. Would you believe that by utilizing just a handful of components, including an Arduino Nano, Relay, Transistor, and LDR module, you could enhance the security of your home? If not, this project will certainly change your perspective, as this door can only be unlocked using a flashlight from your smartphone. The smartphone app contains predefined passwords, and when activated, the flashlight emits flashes with precise timings. Meanwhile, the lock responds only when light hits the LDR resistor for a specific duration, matching the timing set in the app. This ensures enhanced security, making manual manipulation almost impossible. Number 8. Next on the list, we have a robotic car that can be controlled using hand gestures. Yes, you heard it right. No buttons, no remote controls, just simple hand movements to direct the robot's actions. The complete robot is 3D printed and consists of three controlling modes. In its default mode, the robot responds to hand gestures for forward, backward, left, and right movement. Pressing the push button activates drift mode, allowing sideways movement control. Another press switches to corner drive mode, where the robot adeptly navigates corners based on hand gestures. 
This entire project is made possible by the use of this circuit board. The DIY builder focused on keeping the design compact and chose to fabricate the circuit on a PCB. For this, he turned to JLC PCB, which offered high-quality PCBs at a lower cost with the added benefit of on-time delivery. JLC PCB's easy ordering process and wide range of customization options gave him better control over design specifications while ensuring top-notch production quality. You can get five PCBs with up to four layers for just $2 and they're ready in 24 hours. Check the description for more details on their services. Number seven, there are various types of LEDs with different characteristics available on the market and they require a series resistor when connected in a circuit. Mirko created a device that displays the LED characteristics and calculates the value of the series resistor based on the input voltage and the current flowing through the LED. The device has four push buttons to adjust these parameters, and the resistor value changes accordingly. It also provides the resistor code next to the resistor value. Number six. Next, we have a line follower, a sleek and robust robot made by Edison Science Corner. To maintain a simple and efficient design, he used a custom PCB as the chassis of the project. The custom PCB accommodates an array of five IR sensors at the front. The Arduino Nano serves as the brain, and an L293D motor driver module controls two N20DC motors positioned at the rear. Additionally, a 128 by 32 OLED display is integrated for troubleshooting, along with three buttons for adjusting values. Number five, our next project is an RFID tag-based door lock. This prototype will help you understand how modern door locks work. The door opens only when a registered tag is scanned, and it raises an alarm if an unauthorized card is scanned. The door remains unlocked for only 10 seconds before closing automatically. The complete project is assembled on a breadboard, and this circuit will help you to connect these components easily. Number four. Next on the list, we have the Wally -E robot. Professor Boots tried to build this one cute and tiny with the purpose of delivering gifts. He tried to keep the complete length below 10 centimeters, so he selected the components wisely. He also made sure that the storage compartment worked fine. It has two control modes. In the first mode, it moves randomly on its own and enjoys being free. The second is the Bluetooth mode, where you can control it using a smartphone. You can also customize the buttons for a specific task or a program sequence like this. Number three, Mirko created a holographic matrix clock using a real-time clock module, an LED matrix, some push buttons, and an Arduino Nano. By attaching a phone instead of the LED matrix, this device can also display 3D animations. To make an efficient hologram, take care of the following things. First, you need to find the perfect angle and distance between the light source and the screen. Next, ensure all sides of the device are covered with a black surface to prevent light reflection. Finally, check the ambient lighting and the source light brightness, as it also influences the projected image. Number two, if you've ever wondered how a jet engine looks from the inside, Chris's 3D printed replica will give you a clear understanding he started with original design files that were a bit larger than needed, so he scaled them down, printed all the parts, and precisely assembled the engine. The assembly process was time-consuming as the complete design featured more than 50 parts, each requiring accurate alignment. Once assembled, Chris added a DC motor and a custom PCB that includes an Arduino Portenta and a motor driver module to control the motor's speed. Number one, at last, we have an adorable companion for makers everywhere. Crafted by Patoy, this advanced open source dog is a marvel of technology. With voice control capabilities, Biddle responds to your commands with charming lifelike behaviors. It can also be controlled effortlessly using your smartphone or a remote. With the ability to program different behaviors and train new skills, Biddle evolves alongside you, adapting to your needs and desires. If you've made it till here, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. Comment the project that you loved the most. We will be back with some great ideas soon. Till then, goodbye.